Check it out, we've got fans. Was that right? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebs who made an appearance on Gilmore Girls before becoming famous. I could help Jackson with balloons. You need two men for that? I could get, I could get flowers. Good. For this list, we'll be looking at those actors and actresses who took a stroll through Stars Hollow on the road to superstardom. Lorelai and Rory met many future famous faces over the years. Which guest appearance was your favourite? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Max Greenfield He stumbled into Luke's diner and our TV screens playing one of Dean's bumbling buddies. Pit stop! Woo! Bachelor party phase one is over. Ready to parte during Dean's last hurrah as a free man before Rory's ex ties the knot, Max Greenfield's appearance occurred only a few years before he became famous for playing a character who likely wouldn't be caught dead in drunken escapades as seen in Gilmore Girls. Greenfield's acting range was on full display in his third ever on-screen appearance as Lucas. Hey, my name is Luke too. We should start a club or something. Yeah, yeah that would be swell. The actor, who would go on to have several memorable TV moments playing Schmidt on New Girl, described his stop in Stars Hollow as some of my best work. What did he say? Ah, uh, he is so toasted. It's safe to assume many Gilmore devotees would join the Luke Club in agreement. Number 9. Jane Lynch Many characters who cross paths with Emily Gilmore never escape her wrath. Ask any maid who's ever set foot in the Gilmore household. But there were a few instances throughout the series where Emily may have met her match. In the first season episode, Forgiveness and Stuff, the Gilmore matriarch encounters one of her first major challenges. A nurse, played by Jane Lynch, who is simply doing her job. How's Dad? That's what I've been trying to find out, but this woman keeps pestering me with idiotic questions like what's the number of my insurance policy and how long have we had it? I need to get this information. You need to get sensitivity training. Lynch's character's ability to not give in to Emily's demands is one of the first instances in this series where Emily is brought down to the same level as everyone else and shows she isn't above being challenged. Some strange man is working on my husband. I have a right to meet this person. You will. And I want to see the room you're going to put him in. You will. And stop saying you will. Put a proper sentence together, for God's sake. Ma'am, please wait here. The actress is no stranger to playing authoritative characters. Any Gleeks or Boston legal fans in the house? So, what's going on? Number 8. Nick Offerman Nick Offerman would go on to be known for playing quirky characters, and his character on Gilmore Girls was certainly no exception. Before he played a lovable curmudgeon in Pawnee's Parks and Rec department, Offerman appeared as Jackson's brother Bo during seasons 4 and 6. But there's nothing to do in this hick town, not like back in Bogalusa. Hey Bo, why don't you come help me pick the zucchini in the back? I caught a couple of giant miracle grow ones out there. Huh? It'll tickle you. That might be something. He had little regards for other people and no filter whatsoever, not to mention a raging and extremely unrequited crush on Lorelei. Nice sunglasses. Very risky business. Risky business, huh? Are uh, you into risky business? No. All of a sudden, I hate it. Hardly a stranger to the small screen by his mid aughts appearances on Gilmore Girls, playing Bo helped show off Offerman's comedic chops to the public, paving the way for his mustached and mighty opinionated character on Parks and Recreation, Ron Swanson. Don't start chasing applause and acclaim. That way lies madness. Number 7. Kristen Ritter the thought of Rory Gilmore putting pink highlights in her hair might be an odd one, so it would definitely take the influence of someone special to make it happen. By season 7, it had been a long time since Rory had any new gal pals. Enter Lucy and Olivia. Okay, you've got to let us show you around the rest of the show. That's cool. Come on, we'll help you with your article. We'll give you the skinny on everyone. The former character is played by Kristen Ritter, whose influence allowed Rory to loosen up a little. Ritter, who previously starred on another teen drama, TV staple Veronica Mars, began showing the world her versatile acting ability in the 2000s. 
TV devotees would soon learn Ritter could play roles ranging from a fun party girl to a supportive girlfriend to her struggling partner to a self-confident superhero. We can definitely trust the bee in apartment 23 to bring the entertainment. Why, thank you. Hardworking and beautiful. She's something special. You got yourself a good one here, Marty. <laughs> Number six, John Hamm. A man who's willing to try to outbid Lorelei on a free glass of wine dressed in a dapper suit. Do you think Don Draper would approve of Peyton Sanders? I'm Solomon, not Einstein. <laughs> Bye, Solomon. A few years before John Hamm stepped into the Sterling Cooper offices, he played Peyton, an auctioneer who Lorelei met and upon which she unleashed her fast-talking and flirty banter in order to charm her future suitor. Three. What? I'll give you three for it. Four. Five. Six. Six fifty. Oh, losing steam. I'm just weighing costs versus benefit. Well, you gotta think about these things. His character may have been a man of few words, but the buzz over Ham's career would soon get louder. Gilmore Girls casting directors Mara Casey and Jamie Radofsky knew from the beginning Ham was talented. Casey told the Gilmore Guys podcast no one had taken the chance on Ham for Mad Men-sized roles yet, adding he had always been great. Lorelai can pick him. You look wonderful. Oh, so do you, Peyton. So do you. Number 5. Danny Pudi The Yale Daily News was quite a place to work and needed a strong staff to contain the empire that was editor-in-chief Paris during season six and seven. Computer crashed again. Unplug it and plug it back in. If that doesn't work, call IT and get someone over here now. Among the brave staff was Raj, a bookish Yaley who took criticism from Paris's successor Rory in stride and held a particular opinion on fine dining. Everyone else here with me. But what about the creme brulee? And our cognac? Despite only having a few lines across his four episodes, Danny Pudi was already poised for success. Around the same time he was working in the Yale newsroom, he also spent time in County General Hospital and the White House after appearing on ER and The West Wing. He would soon find his way back to school and his way to cult classic status playing Abed on Community, a character who'd likely have Gilmore-themed opinions. This <laughs> is to commemorate all those articles of ours that you carefully, thoughtfully ripped to shreds. Number 4. Leslie Odom Jr. Leslie Odom Jr.'s penchant for playing studious men wasn't limited to playing vice presidents in hit musicals. He once took the podium to participate in a Young Voices of Journalism panel with a journalist we all know and love, Rory. Gwen Walsh, Daily Princetonian, the ramifications of the scandal to which you obliquely alluded ought not to be underestimated. I hate this guy already. Odom Jr. played an editor from the Daily Princetonian, whom Rory refers to as pompous Princeton guy in season six. Struggle to preserve the fundamental principles and rights upon which our free press depends was made far more difficult by the choice of certain reporters who shall remain unnamed <laughs> to capitulate to governmental pressure and divulge their sources. He's unbelievable. He's wearing a bow tie. His performance as a confident champion of academia may have helped foreshadow some of his future acting credits, like his portrayal of Aaron Burr in Hamilton and Sam Cooke in the 2020 film One Night in Miami. His fast-talking and fiery passion for preserving a free press could have potentially earned him a Gilmore seal of approval, but only maybe if he lost the tie. That while I may suffer from my principled stand, there was a much greater issue at stake. Number 3. Chad Michael Murray he was the bad boy armed with biblical references and who believed no Chilton woman could resist his charm until he met Rory Mary Gilmore. And for the last time, the name is Rory! Tristan Dugray was the popular student, used to getting whatever his heart desired, but things changed once Rory came on the Chilton scene. Tristan and Rory traded banter back and forth like it was ammo, but through the process of dodging Tristan's pursuits with PJ Harvey tickets and breaking up his fights with her boyfriend, Rory learns that there's some tenderness under his tough exterior. A lot of stuff's been going on with you lately, huh? Meaning? Just, you know, the car thing, the suspension thing, a lot of drama. Well, I get bored easily. Just doesn't really seem like you. And you know me now, huh? 
I know that you don't get suspended for stupid pranks. Chad Michael Murray felt tenderness toward Gilmore Girls' first bad boy on the block too. He told In Style, I actually really enjoyed Tristan. Everyone rooted for him. Everyone, including Rory. Just don't tell Dean. I might kiss you goodbye, but uh, your boyfriend's watching. Take care of yourself. Number two, Adam Brody. He was the boy of her audiophile heart. She was a girl wearing a dead Kennedy shirt when they met. Could the attraction be any more obvious? I'm sort of an audio geek, sorry. No, don't apologize, I love you. For that, for being that way. I love it, um, I'm like that too. Lane had dated and crushed on boys before, but none could compare to her first boyfriend, Dave Rogalski. Lane's dreams for a musically inclined man unfolded over nine episodes in season three as Dave went from being Lane's bandmate to her beau. He even managed to charm the notoriously strict Mrs. Kim. I'm very impressed. All right. All right what? You can go to the prom, but you cannot get married. It seems fair to me. Unfortunately, Lane and Dave's relationship came to a close after Adam Brody was cast on the OC. Thankfully, the beach-bound Brody's time spent in Stars Hollow had a lasting impact. He would later call the show's signature writing style some of the best written stuff I've ever gotten to do. I'm so writing him a song tonight. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Brandon Barash, Jamie competed for Paris's heart, and she didn't have to write his name in her revenge notebook. I flunked a pop quiz in Polly's side because I couldn't stop thinking about you. Still want your hand back? I've got another. I've thought a lot about this, and apparently you're a distraction that I'm supposed to have. Ricky Lindholm. Rory was seen hanging out with Logan's insightful friend, Juliet. I am not eating until I get married to some gorgeous but very poor man who will sign an ironclad prenup <laughs> and then I will get very, very fat, but he won't ever leave me because he would be cut off without a penny and die in a trailer park. Scout Taylor Compton, a precocious girl who was also Dean's little sister. Do you wash your hair? Yes, I wash my hair. And why does it stick up like that? Because. It looks crazy. Brandon Ralph a mischief-making character who flew into one of the biggest franchises ever. Is there a problem? Yeah, um, see those two idiots over there? They're 16, underage, and I bet you're not. I also bet those big fancy party cups aren't holding lemonade. You really want to end any further conversation with me right now, so just step aside, Skippy. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Rami Malek Imagine if Lane Kim knew one of her friends from Bible study would later play Freddie Mercury in his biopic. Then we'll punch a hole in the sky. The actor, who would eventually portray one of the biggest superstars in history, would begin his career playing a character who was a little less rock and roll. Rami Malek's small screen debut took place in Stars Hollow, where he played the eager Andy. Any other suggestions? Assistant Pastor Eric? Yes, Assistant Pastor Eric. Also a fine idea, he lives next door to Pastor Cho. Playing an eager character wasn't difficult for Malek. His tenacity for breaking into the business through crafting the ultimate audition package for casting directors laid the groundwork for a prosperous career, which would soon pay off through a SAG membership with the help of Gilmore Girls casting director Mara Casey. And she said, you know what? Come on in, kid. And that day, the next day, I got my SAG card. Freddie Mercury would approve, darling. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.